Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here, and I'm back on some Elden Ring, and today I want to talk about my Let's Play. Now, I hate doing this, because I did this with Sekiro as well, and that is, I think I might actually cancel the Let's Play. I know a lot of you guys have been disappointed with the Let's Play anyway. I've seen the comments where it's not, like, as good because it's not my first playthrough so i know all this stuff i've seen it before it's not like oh my god look at that and what the hell is that and oh there's a trap here and oh no this is a gravity death pit it's not like that like you know the other let's plays for like dark souls 2 or dark souls 3 and you know the reason for that though and i knew that like I wanted to play with my friends because they wanted me to play with them and I was down to do it. But my main goal, of course, my main focus above all else is the noobs guide. I think that that is the most important thing is to try to learn as much about the game to pretty much get through the game a couple times at least and figure out like how in the hell am I ever going to do this noobs guide because I got to tell you. I've been looking at this and thinking, man, this is going to be a real challenge because the game is so massive. My noobs guides, my walkthroughs are, they're meant to be 100%. They're meant to show like the quest lines, how to get all the items in the different areas. Man, it's pretty crazy stuff when you talk about a game like this because there's so much to do. Now, one thing I've been thinking about, you tell me what you think about this idea is, let's say like I start the game out, right? And we have this first area, and we also have, like, this bottom area here. Maybe, like, for the noobs guide, I'll actually go around and do every dungeon in every one of these areas. And then, maybe even the bottom area, too. Then I'll do the main stuff, right? And I'll do that for all of the different regions of the game. It's like, okay, now we're going to focus on this region. I'm going to go to every one of the dungeons, show people where to find the dungeons, show them, like, how to do the dungeons, get all the items in the dungeons, beat the bosses in those dungeons as well. Then, finally, once I'm done with that, I will go and do the main stuff. And, of course, I'm going to try to, like, get something that's going to be strong to start the game, and it's going to help a lot, and... I think that's the way to do it. At least that's my idea right now. And I still actually have to learn how to do all the quest lines as well. Because to be honest, I don't even know how to do them all. I'm going to have to follow guides myself to figure out how to do a lot of these like side quests. Because there's tons of them in this game. And they're actually like fairly complicated. Now besides that, the other problem with the Let's Play is that... You know, there's other videos I want to do. They're in the pipeline... I, right now, I have, like, a late-game quality build I want to show off. I have a late-game Faith build I want to show off, or at least a Faith Warrior build. It's not really, like, a magic casting build. It's a buffing warrior build. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty awesome. I'm liking it a lot. Um, but, you know, that's kind of the thing. Like, the Let's Play is kind of holding me back a little bit. Plus, like I said, a lot of people are disappointed because of the fact that it's not officially my first playthrough. I know all this stuff. So yeah, I'm thinking that I'll cancel it, and then I'll focus on just getting through the game, you know, I don't know, at least one more time, maybe a couple more times, I don't even know, and try to figure out, like, what to do about the noobs guide, because that's going to take a long time, it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm definitely down to do that. Now, if you don't know, by the way, because I, I get comments all the time about, oh, man, I started watching you with the Dark Souls 2 Noobs Guide, or, oh, I started watching you with the Dark Souls 3 Noobs Guide. The Dark Souls 2 Noobs Guide was actually my first Noobs Guide I did for any of the Souls games. And at the time, I believe I did that maybe, like, a couple months after the game came out. I did my Let's Play, I did a bunch of, like, one-off videos, and I had a lot of success with Dark Souls 2, and I kind of built up a following at that point. And then I did the Noobs Guide. And then for years to come, years and years to come, people would watch the Noobs Guide. Same with Dark Souls 3. Now, the difference, though, with Dark Souls 3 is I had a big problem at the time. Dark Souls 3 came out at a really bad time for me because I had a lot of real-life stuff going on. Basically, me and my ex-wife was engaged we were like planning on getting married like there was a lot of stuff going on there and i just didn't have a lot of time 
to really focus on like doing the videos. So instead, what I did was I just sat there and I blasted through my first playthrough as fast as I could with the Let's Play. And it was like my official first playthrough was the Let's Play, but I blasted through. The moment I was done with that, knowing I didn't have the time really, I started doing the Noobs Guide. And to me, that was a mistake. And I know a lot of people love that Noobs Guide. I get tons of like compliments about it. And that is the most popular one. I'm pretty sure like the first episode of that Noobs Guide has like a million views. It's insane. It's absolutely crazy. But I personally just don't like it. I just, I don't like what I did with that because it wasn't well done. It really wasn't. Like, it was rushed. It was basically, I mean, there was a, it was just like, it, I didn't get all the items. Like, it wasn't really 100%. I didn't really know what I was doing at the time because I didn't play through the game more than once. All I did was my let's play and then I just immediately started doing the noobs guide. So that's the thing. I, I don't want to have something like that happen again. And that's why I knew like for sure I wanted to with the this game actually play through the game with some friends because they wanted me to anyway. And I was like, all right, you know what? If I can like learn a bunch of stuff and also if i can whoa if i can actually like make some one-off videos about some op stuff or you know whatever i knew that would be a good idea and i think that that's the best way of basically doing this is that to be honest like the let's play above all else like i started this because i knew like people were wanting me to start making videos right away like there was tons of people were like going on all my videos saying, where is the Elden Ring? Where is Elden Ring? You know, what are you doing? Come on. And to be honest, by the way, this, uh, this game came out at kind of a bad time for me as well. I had stuff going on in my real life uh, at that time as well. So it kind of came out at a bad time. But that's the thing is that above all else, you know, I wanted to just put something out there. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll, I'll just, I'll start doing a let's play. Even though at first I was thinking, I don't really want to do the let's play because I've talked about it before. I don't know. I'm kind of past like let's plays. I just, I just don't really like doing them. I prefer like definitely doing the walkthrough. I, I'm passionate about like, you know, the walkthrough. And I'm also like very passionate about making like one-off videos about OP stuff. I do that with, like, all these other games. That's what I've been doing for a couple years now. So, you know, I think that's what I'm going to do with this game as well. So let me know what you think. You know, go ahead and tell me your thoughts. And tell me what you think about my idea about the actual noobs guide, about, like, how I'll do it in terms of all the regions and stuff. But I just really have to learn more about the game. I have to play it as much as I can. And I'm hoping that the noobs guide is going to be really great so that for years to come when people watch it they'll really be able to use it and it will be effective for helping them get all the items do all the quest lines you know do all the dungeons do everything that they might want to do Alrighty, guys well that's going to do it for this little video here so i really hope that you know you understand like my point and i do want to hear what you have to say as well be sure to subscribe, though, for future videos, especially that noobs guide that will be coming out sometime in the near future. Thank you so much for watching, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day, and peace out.